Hello everyone, Triple S back here with some more Gas Out of Hell. And I apologise for the audio issues that happened in the last part, but those should be fixed now. I figured out what was going wrong. I had to like save out the audio as a different file so it wouldn't like crackle and stuff. Because for some reason the FPS would just mess with the audio. And I also apologise for um not getting a part out sooner because I wanted to really test the microphone, make sure it was perfect, and then I ordered something exploded outside. I ordered some muffler things to go over the microphone, and I got them now. So we're recording here with Gas of Hell, and instead of being on the roof, we are in here. I kind of feel like we were supposed to stay in here, spawn in here, and also, I'm guessing this means we can switch characters, so I can actually be. Don't mind if I do. Kinsey if I wanted to. We've got our Saints wings. But I'm not one for playing as uh, female characters because I'm not a girl. Um, nothing against girls, it's just, you know, I'm a guy. I don't know. Could be seen as kind of creepy a guy playing as a girl and stuff. And there's that guy who is not Satan, but Ultor or whatever the fuck his name is. It's probably from a previous Saints Row game, but like I said. I've not played many. So in upgrades, I realised that I could have got that one. So there we go. 25% more ammo. Then also, we should have... We don't have... The skull. We don't have, like, the... Uh... So we got, yeah, Super Sprint. Anything we can do in here? Oh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough for that. We should upgrade these as soon as we can. Oops, didn't mean to close it. And flight. Upgrades. Should start getting these as well. So we have zero. Soul thing is. We don't have our skull weapon. We have our saints wings, but we don't have our skull weapon, and I'm not sure why. Audio tomes, the map, quest log. You can't like talk to him or anything. Satan could have avoided all of this if he just listened. If he just listened. Let's head outside. Hell's a dangerous place. Oh, there's a thingy. What quest do we have? 51. Go forth and impress four specific emissaries to charge up your healer with magnificent power. Summons power stomp, aura and blast power. Gear up. Upgrade your weapon collection. Loyalty. Activities, diversions, take control, tower seek conversion, marshalling gas, should sit who's really in charge, arcane powers, portrait indicates that nice. kill demons by hitting them where it hurts, run, Beat downs, and then there are beat downs powered by God. Flight time. Whoa. Saying so his blood pressure would go through the roof. Killing things, completing things, and time played. Well, we know the charge. What's this one? Gear up. Alright, head to a vending machine. Check out machine. the vending machine near the Ultor building. Is it a special vending machine? No. Oh. Have you bought stuff from a store already? Probably. But I would be remiss as your guide if I didn't show you the basics. These guys should run fast. That's 
cool. I hope there's not something ridiculous like a hundred of these to find. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Fuck me, there's a shit tunnel up there. I'm gonna have to get used to this flying thing. Yeah. I was gonna try and land on the uh, thingy, but. Ran stole me off. I find this it look for difficult spots to fly under and give it a shot. You learn some cash and piss Satan off. So is that just it just tells me stuff, I guess, I don't know. Let's get some running done. God. Oops, sorry. Right. A white majority. Right, so we have that then. Oh, there we go. Now we have it. Now it's in there. So we have the... That's our skull. Whoa. Whoa! Diamond sting. Wow, that's cool. Fire, compressed smoke and brimstone particles and incredibly high fire rate. This one costs more than the other one. Get that. I'll just I'll just get buy weapons on the run first. Everyone needs a good shotgun. Got an item in the inventory. Salt tested, altar approved. Perfect for scattering large cells into every nook and cranny. Let's buy that. I don't have enough wages. A full auto. Yeah, health. Yeah, it costs a lot. Increase the range a bit. Oh no, that's costing a hell of a lot more now. Um, damage. Rip size. That 100. Speed. Put speed. All right. What was this one? How much do these cost? If it costs 100, I'll buy it. Hide mind. This is a killer tag, it will turn to the weapon as bonus ammo. That actually sounds quite cool, but not yet. Which one's the most expensive? This one. What the hell is, is that? Barber cannon. Let's buy that then. Let's buy all these. Explosives, which one? The first one's costing more than the other ones. Except. Except. DIY missiles. What's better than hitting your enemy? Hitting your enemy into other enemies, of course. <laughs> Hand crossbow. Let's just in uh, increase this gun. So then we can't like buy like knuckle dusters or anything like that. Right, so. Oh, I'm guessing they're all full then since I just bought them. So it keeps getting better and better. 
Right, so we should now have a shit ton of weapons. Yeah, there we go. Whoop. Sorry. Skull with unlimited ammo. Can these be changed with the number key? Yes, they can. Ow! Fuck you! Oops. We do actually have quite a lot of stamina. Damn it. Running out of juice. Right, I'm, I'm, it's going to take me a while to get used to all this with the flying mechanics and I was going too slow then, I had to... I was going too slow, I had to keep flapping. I keep like going of shift, I need to hold shift to keep flying. Lost count on these things. I think this episode is just going to be me trying to get used to everything. Oops, I dropped. Oh, I grabbed that one. Also, sorry about the FPS as well. I can't really do anything about it. It's just my laptop. Right, so there's no like actual way that I could like map things to things. Uh, a few errands that could use your expertise. So if I don't hold shift, it's kind of like a dash, then. I guess um, Kinsey just stays in here, then. She doesn't, like, come out with me and fight. Um, let's see what he has to say about this the quest. The forge is prime real estate in hell. This smoggy shithole is located over the richest mineral veins in the afterlife. You want to hurt hell's infrastructure? Here's where you do it. Satan could have avoided all of this if he just listened. Oh. Okay. Oh, I think you were just about to tell me what my quest was then. Was it? Ah, oh, there we go. Oops, <laughs> I just smacked into that car. <laughs> you leave me alone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jesus Christ, these guys are maniacs. Okay, let's do this quest then, see what this is like. My lawyer, Legal Lee, figured out a way to get some gold level clients a fast track out of hell. The more abuse you put these guys through, the more years we can shave off. Lee suggested running clients through the designated intersections to boost their punishment. Oh, and dive in front of those vehicles on fire for bonus points. I mean, let's face it, the more they hurt, the sooner we can get these wretched bastards out of here. Okay. So what, do I just go on a killing spree with these guys then? Jesus Christ, it's getting dark, it's going to snow like hell in a minute, I'm sure of it. This is already snowing. Oh, it's like a small light flurry. 
The Heavenly Father was less forgiving of poor Tobias, whose shirtless antics as a oh, I remember. I recognize this. Inside a great inferno. However, ever the optimist, Tobias tried to look on the bright side of being transformed into a husk. After all, while the removal of his signature dreadlocks was a disappointment, he was finally free from having to wear pants ever again. But while Perpetual Commando appealed to Tobias, he still yearned for Laura and her delightful snickerdoodles. Touched by his story and terrified by his demeanor, Legal Lee worked with renewed purpose to unite the two lovers. Oh, I don't I just realized about the music. Well, this isn't like copyright music or anything. Let's try to recognize it. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, if at some point. Gold! I just thought, considering that I am, like, actually saying that, I did have it set before where I would record, ooh, Hellblazing, start that way, I would record this with audio of, um, me speaking and the game audio mixed together into one audio track, and that's not really changed, so if the game goes quiet, it's because the music's been muted. YouTube muted the music. I keep pressing space to flap my wings and it's not doing it. I'm nearly out of stamina as well, Jesus Christ. Charge up a bit. Ah, drop you idiot. Hell blazing, what's this then? Let's take this opportunity to stretch those wings. I've set up a rudimentary flight. Ah, oh, I hate these. I'm not All doing this. All you need to do is hit the checkpoints in the order they appear. Now, because I'm a swell guy, I put some orbs out there to help you. The white ones will recharge your wings. The green ones will give you more stamina. Let's go. I am going to suck at this. I am going to suck hard at this. I'm not going to get like a gold medal or anything for this. I can't even do this in Spyro. Jesus Christ. One minute, 33 seconds. Gotta pick it up. Missed it! Fuck! Missed that green one. FPS is going to hell. It's actually good flight training, is this? I 
think I might actually plug in an Xbox controller for later plays. Whoa! FPS is gone. We're okay. Someone's messaging me on Facebook. Note to self. Find a way to control lightning. Holy fuck! Can't do this. The FPS I boost I got then because I went inside and didn't have to load everything really threw me off then and I just started running up walls. Let's see what these things can do. I got gold for that! My god! Also, yeah, again, terribly sorry for the FPS, but it's just going to have to be like that. Flooding the entire damn world. Holy shit, the FPS went to hell and I froze a couple of times. I actually just stopped in midair. But then the FPS boost I got. Jesus Christ, woman. Right, yeah, the FPS boost I got when I went inside and it had less things to fucking show on screen. Oh my god, that really threw me off and I just started running up walls. That was intense. I actually got gold for that. How the freaking hell did I get gold for that mayhem start? Right, we're at 21 minutes though. Well, 22 minutes. So I'm going to end off here. But, oh my god, if I ever have... Maybe if I ever have to do stuff like that again... Because what I do is I run my laptop, which I'm playing on and recording on, in power saving mode. <coughs> Pardon me. Because it uses a, like, a lot less stuff for it. So, because I'd rather not have my laptop like really overheat and break. And if you can hear a whining in the background, that's like a I fan that I have on top of my laptop somewhere. to uh, like try and keep it more cool. I don't actually think it really does a whole lot to it, but you know, whatever. And, um... You know, if I take it out of power save mode and put it on balanced mode, then yeah, it ramps up and gets really hot. So maybe if I have to do another flying type thing, which maybe is part of the story and I really need to get it right without crashing and dying. Well, not dying, but you know, falling and losing time if it's timed, which I really hate if that was a thing, if there was timed things that were part of the story, because I hate doing timed things. I usually suck. But if that ever happens, I'll probably take out the power system and put on balance, but then go back. So, sorry about the FPS, but please just try and, like, put up with it, because this is... really is quite an amazing game. I mean, I could lower the environment um, detail. I have it set to high. Everything else is low, but I have the environment set to high, Maybe lowering it, the texture quality might help. And probably lowering the depth of field would help. How much I can actually see. Yeah, just thinking of that now. Probably might help. So anyway, I will see you all next time for some more Saints Row, Get Out of Hell. We didn't really do anything for the story this time. We just did some uh, mission things. But we're, we're, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. We're doing some good. So I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.